Okay, so today I walked in and I saw that the we talked about this. Yes. When is this thing gonna expand, Dom? Yes. When are you gonna knock this wall down, Dom? It happened this year. It so. happened this year. That was last year. You and I talked about that. I want to say last two years we've been talking about that. The vision came to you've almost you, you've doubled teams. You didn't turn anyone away, did you? Right. No. Well, no. So we uh, had a waiting list this year. So growth has gone through the roof, and we got teams interested. And in California came out this year. Cali Gold, uh, Nebraska, uh, Kansas. Um, so I think we're truly a national tournament and the vision of growing this to, you know, blowing this out to the entire convention center, we was realized this year. So it's pretty cool. I'm super excited about it because I've been promoting this with you from, from yeah. the ground level. Yeah. That's what I love about it. I was here for, you know, it's, it's awesome to see an event grow like that, Dom. Right. Um, you have so many volunteers. You put so much time into this. Yeah. And it's just a logistical nightmare. But how do you make this happen? How did we blow the wall out? How did how did you just knock the doors down? Yeah. How did you do it, Dom? Yeah, I think we got some key uh, teams to come. You know, so when Pinnacle came from Minnesota, that was key. Um, some PA teams came, so that helped. And then the New Jersey teams are, are fantastic. I mean, they're lights out. And so I think good teams want to wrestle the best teams around. And those teams are here. And um, it's super attractive, too. A couple things. One, the hotel's connected to the uh, convention center. So people come here, they don't have to drive. Coach Barbosa mentioned that. Loved that. Loved it. Loved he loved that. it, right? Loved it. The other thing is we don't have any buys. And um, we're done by 4 or 5 o'clock every day. So you have your evening free. So we're not wrestling at 7, 8, 9 o'clock at night. Um, no buys. So everybody gets four matches in, and then they're, they're done for the day. You know, I look at this event, and it, you know, I just get so excited to work with you guys. But your volunteer, it's not just Genoa people. Yeah, you've got you've dipped into Perrysburg. You've got all these other right. different programs. How do you do that, man? How does how does Northwest Ohio? I know in Northeast Ohio where I'm at. Yeah. I don't know if they're super into that, right? Yeah. How do you do that? How do you bridge the gap between programs? Yeah, now? so we have a mix of you know our Genoa wrestlers, our Genoa community, and then we combine with the Burnett Club. So they they've been helping. Um, and then just people local, they, they want this tournament to grow. They want to help, um, you know, showcase an event in Northwest Ohio. Um, the vendors have been fabulous. Rudis has been fabulous. The hotel here has been fabulous. The convention center has been great. Um, Destination Toledo um, for the county, they've been great. So I think we got a great partnership with our vendors too. Economic impact's a big thing when you talk to a lot of these chambers yeah. of commerce, when you talk to whatever, Destination Toledo, it, it, it's like, it's huge. I, I never realized it yeah. until I got to the business business end of events, and it's huge, man. You're yeah. drawing California people, right, right? Not five California people, a yeah. bunch. Yeah. So they got to fly in. Their parents are flying in. They come in a day early. They leave a day late. Um, the hotels sold out, so we've we've filled up a hotel and a half here. Um, the restaurants are busy, you know. So we bring a lot of economic benefit to the to the area for sure. When you look at um, you know our vision five years ago, you wanted to be a national tournament. Yeah. You wanted to be coast to coast. Well, you, you got what you wanted, right, right, right? right? And another thing that helped is I think the PA duels, like Penn Hill or something like that, they moved those PA duels a week. Did you know that? I did not. Know yeah, that. that used to be in conflict with it. And I know like even like uh, Guy Seiko, he would go over to that, right? Yeah. Talking to Coach Bassett. It wasn't this weekend now. So they had moved their duels. So that's huge, too, because you drew cool. more PA teams, right? That is cool. So um, ultimately, you know, we talk. I mean, we're in a back room right now, and they're going to have to <laughs> knock this wall down. Where yeah. do we go from here, Don? Um, I think we can expand a little bit um, and then would be at capacity. Um, but I think we're, we're good at uh, 32, 36 teams. Um, we want the best teams in the country to come. And looking forward to just having an efficient, great event. How many mats down on the on the floor right now? Sixteen. Sixteen. How many teams total this year? Thirty-two. So thirty-two. You could go to thirty-six. We could go thirty-six. Yeah. Oh, Dom, I love the insanity of this. This yeah. is my favorite, man. And you know, there is still room to grow, there is, and it's yeah. only going to get better. Absolutely. Only going to get better. Absolutely. All right, great you got event. anything else for me? Nope. Great event. It's been fun. Great volunteers, and it's been amazing the growth, and greatly appreciate everybody's help. Yep.